hello namaste welcome or welcome back to greet tarot so how are you i hope you're doing good i hope it's an amazing day for you so if you're new here if you like my content please support my channel if you have already supported me thank you so very much so the topic for today is messages from the universe you're meant to hear right now so as you can see i have three groups for you guys three runes rune cards i have kept so choose intuitively take your time pause the video and remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest and these are timeless rings as well so for group number one you have the vunyo group number two rado and group number three the gas so take your time pause the video if you need to and choose i will see you in your group so mistake group number one you have chosen the vunyo rune so let's see what is the message from the universe that you are meant to hear right now okay so you have the Vunyo rune. Vunyo rune is like the law of attraction. So like attracts like. The more you are giving out positive energy, the more you will receive the positive energy. So today make sure how your thoughts are, what you are thinking. So if you are dwelling in these negative thoughts, it's time to shift that. So whenever you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts, let go of it and replace it with a positive thought okay and i know that you can do it because you are hearing this message and divine is telling that you can do it you can change your thoughts if you want to change your reality you can you have you will have to change your thoughts and and again changing thoughts is also like a discipline right right we got to discipline our mind discipline our mind to think more po positive thoughts uh, yes when we start thinking more positive thoughts it's it's going to be a little bit difficult because we are so used to thinking negative thoughts so changing into positive thoughts can be a little difficult but definitely it's possible okay as we think as as we as we catch ourselves thinking those negative thoughts we can transform it we can change that we can replace that okay and yes we are human beings we cannot feel uh, joy and pleasure all the time but what we can do uh, is to be neutral with our thoughts at that time okay so if you are facing problem a problem don't just think about uh, the bad aspect as well as the good accept don't make it like oh it's going to be very positive or don't think how negative it is going to be be neutral with it that's something i feel like here and for some of you i feel like after you watch a re watch this reading maybe you will be uh, seeing a hummingbird maybe when you are scrolling youtube or uh, social media or maybe really in real life you might see a hummingbird and uh, this is your sign that universe is with you always helping you to uh, to get uh, your dreams come true right and there is a happy news as well that is coming very soon so right now if you are dwelling in negative thoughts change that the more you focus on the joy because joy vibration is on the highest scale and uh, hate or overthinking stressing is on the lower scale so choose your thoughts wisely i feel like that's what the universe is telling you right now because there is a good news coming so be be open to that okay so let's see what else here messages from the universe that you are meant to hear today messages from the universe that you are meant to hear today group number one thank you oh wow you're going to get your fish <laughs> if you like again you're going to get your food and <laughs> so this bear he wanted to eat he was hungry so he went and he got the fish like that only you're going to get whatever you want and and the idea here i feel like universe wants you to know that if you feel like it's possible you're going to get it no matter what if you think so once a person is like yes i can do it i will make it happen i have the power and if you if you start thinking like that you're going to see more opportunities of it and you will be able to be successful in it but if a person is like i can't do it right and you just focus on the negative like this is the reason i cannot do it i don't have that skill this 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 blah 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 if you start making excuses you're not going to get what you want right so 
So, so again, I, I'm getting an affirmation for you guys here. It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. It's only a thought. A thought can be changed, right? So that's what you need to do. If whenever you think you're about yourself, like I cannot do it, maybe change it to a thought that makes you feel good. Yes, maybe I can will not feel good, but you can say like, maybe I'll try. Maybe that will feel good. So try. Yeah. So try guys. Sometimes we just say that we cannot do it and we don't even try. Don't be like that. So try something new. Try the things you thought that you cannot do. Try it. Maybe some something will surprise you. Maybe you will be able to do it. Who knows, right? So we have this grizzly bear here with power. I am indes indestructible. I'm sorry about that. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. I never give up. I will succeed. That's the thing. That's the mantra should be for you, right? I will never give up. I will succeed. So once we start thinking about that, we are going to see like things happening. But we are like, oh, whatever I do, nothing comes out into fruition. Nothing happens for me. If we are chanting that, we are going to see more of it. So that's why here universe is actually telling you to change your thoughts and it can be changed but yes you need to be a little bit disciplined with it like you need to be like yes this is only i'm thinking that's how you discipline your mind and yes it is possible it's not impossible right so i feel like universe is telling you to do something that you thought that you cannot do try and tell yourself i can do it i will succeed in it so try new things Try new things. So if the bear is thinking like there is no fish and he doesn't go to the lake, then he, he's going to be hungry. So he's like, yes, I feel like that there will, there will be fish. So I'm going to go. And as he goes, he finds one, right? And he can, uh, he can eat it and he will not feel hungry, right? Like that's, that's the energy here. So what you think, that's what you're manifesting. Again, your thoughts create your reality and that's, something universe is reminding you today <laughs> so let's see so did you say no to something because you are fearful or because you don't like it if you're fearful then this is the time to think about it why i'm stopping myself from doing this thing that will give me a lot of good things in the future right nine of pentacles wow four of swords for some of you you're very afraid to do things independently you wait for people you got to heal that thing in you you can do it by yourself guys you don't need an army of people to make things happen for you guys you can do it by yourself sometimes you feel like you got to wait for other people and that's where you lose a lot of opportunities. That's where you think that you cannot do by yourself. But no, that's not the case at all. You are someone who has the power. If, it, if you tap into your, your full power, you will be able to do it by yourself. So here, go forward. If you want to learn something new, go do it. You don't need a friend for that. So maybe for some of you are like, if my friend does that, I'll do it. Even though you want to do it, you will wait for someone. If It feels like some of you are a little bit indecisive as well. Maybe you want to learn something and your friend says no. Then you're like, oh, my friend is not going, so I'm not going. No, don't be like that. If it feels good, if you want it, go and do it. And you will, you will, you will be successful in it. That's what universe wants you to know right now. So what, what's stopping you? The fear of doing things alone or the fear of failure? And why you feel like you cannot do things by yourself? That's something you need to change. So replace, you know, your affirmations. Like I can do it by myself. If I try, I will succeed in it. I never give up. I will succeed, right? That's what, it, that's what the thing is. That's, uh, that's something I feel like you need to heal. Why you feel like you need... A group of people in order to achieve something right 
uh, you know when i was young there was a story like that uh, the, there was a farmer who was waiting for other people to do things for him and what happened was <laughs> at the end his land didn't have anything all the other lands were getting all the harvest and the reason is they did their work they didn't came here and he was waiting like a fool for them to come and do things for him but no one came so that's the energy if you want to achieve something you got to do it by yourself you came in this world by yourself and you will go alone right you came alone you are going to go go alone so it's okay to do things alone yes not all the time there will be people who will help you but sometimes somehow you close your self because you feel like you cannot do it by yourself so sometimes you got to be like this nine of pentacles energy who is someone who is not going to lose any opportunity because because she is not waiting for anyone to do things for her she is going to do it for herself so that's one of the important message here from universe okay so let's see again your thoughts your thoughts are also something that you can only change no one else can do that for you remember that always how you think about yourself really really matters really it matters so how you think about yourself is how people will see you always remember that and i feel like universe is reminding you today maybe you already know it but through this message universe is reminding you that again seven of cups again you are a little bit indecisive so that's why you feel like you need a lot of people to make decisions for you maybe in the past you made a decision and it went totally wrong so now you are like what if it happens like it happened in the past and that's the reason you're not making the decision by yourself and that's exact thing is is what you need to heal that is past you didn't know a lot of things at that time but you have learned your lessons so just take the lessons don't stop yourself because of that one event here so if you want to make a decision what feels right to you make it don't wait for other people if you start waiting you will be keeping on waiting only okay so if there is some sort of uh, uh, decisions that you want to make make it ask yourself the answers are within yeah so let's see we have the death and we have the strength yes it's the time to end your fear yes it's the time to end that fear and you know it's time to rebuild your confidence so somehow somewhere you have lost some sort of confidence because of because of a past event maybe you made a decision by yourself right and it didn't go well something bad happened and now because of that failure because of that decision that you made by yourself maybe at that time you didn't listen to anyone and you now you feel like if i don't listen to other people i might make that uh, that uh, that that thing might happen again maybe you are so fearful so that's why you are becoming more more and more more and more indecisive and you are you are asking people again and again and again is this the best choice for me is this the best choice for me but here universe is reminding you what's best for you you know what's best for you you only know your heart only knows what's best for you anyone else around you don't know right now right now you only know what's best for you so choose what makes you happy rebuild your confidence start working on your confidence you were confident once i feel like for some of you were very confident and uh, maybe for some of you over confidence led to a lot of failures in your life now you are like not at all confident because of this failures or something like that yes over confidence anything in excess is not good right so balance that be more confident you have the strength and even if something goes wrong don't worry because you will learn from that mistake 
it feels like some of you are not taking a step because something will go wrong and that's why you're stuck staying staying stuck here that's why you're not growing and here we are in this earth to grow to understand and sometimes failures make us very strong failures are a part of life we cannot avoid them we cannot so what we can do is to end that fear let go of that fear and come back into this energy of strength and understand that universe will always protect me trust universe whenever you're making a decision ask universe and you will know exactly what you need to do and once you trust universe once you trust yourself nothing will go wrong and you will you will be successful as well i feel like that so it's your fear stopping you from doing something by yourself and here universe is giving you that green signal like go chase your dreams do it by yourself you can do it <laughs> and you will succeed it's just sometimes our state of mind comes between between our um, wishes and we don't even chase our wishes right it's time to chase your wishes it's time to go for it it's time it it's time to not wait for anyone and choose what's best for you and go for it so what's what's in the past is in the past it's over you take the lesson move forward and yes it will require a lot of courage so you got to work on your confidence build your confidence yeah so let's see the final message yes as you move forward you will get the support as well <laughs> interestingly do you don't have to wait for the support as you start doing something you will meet the people who will be right for you so again if you're starting to do a business by yourself it's scary but you want to do it so that's why you're waiting for people and you're not and you're not getting that kind of uh, uh, reply from them right so now you start as you start as you move forward there will be people joining you who will help you in this so you're not going to be alone you will not be doing alone just start it just take that one small step and universe will give you the people correct people who will help you with this thing right so are you ready are you ready to do this thing are you ready to take action are you ready to choose the thing that you want right are you ready to make this decision if so move forward confidently confidence is the key to success don't waver don't doubt yourself don't dim your light for anyone as you move forward as you take that one small step people will come people places situation will come that will help you to move forward okay so i will end your reading with this charms so what is the final message what universe wants you to know right now Okay yes we have the sun this is the time to follow your uh, creative ideas this is the time to see the sun and this is not the time to wait this is the time to be like the sun uh, yeah this is the time to be like the sun to be to not be confused like to be confident yes this is what i want i'm going to go for it right yes we have the yeah for some of you um, it's time to let go of something that troubled you in the past i really feel like you have stopped stopped yourself uh, from shining you have dim your light because of this failure don't dim your light light get back get back you are a confident person and you can make it happen by yourself yes i'm not i'm not going to say that you don't need anyone you will need people and these people will correct co come at the correct time so don't be confused don't be indecisive if you want something go and do that and you will succeed in it So yes that's what universe wanted you to know at this at this moment right now so i hope it made sense i hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i will see you soon bye bye group number 2 messages from the universe that you are meant to hear right now you have chosen the ray the rune so let's see what is the message for you guys here so you are on the right track maybe that's what the universe wants you to know maybe that's what you want to hear right now maybe you're wondering whether i'm on the right track or not yes you're going good and understand life is full of cycles right 
it's not going to be a spring all the time and like that only it's not going to be winter all the time so seasons change and yes if you are feeling a little bit stuck if you're feeling things are not moving forward maybe that's the reason you're feeling you're not right on track you are keep going keep moving this is just a phase of life this is just a cycle of life and nothing is permanent so this will also change okay so that's what the first message is from universe let's move on and see what else messages from the universe that you're meant to hear right now group number two we have oh wow we have abundance a sacred buffalo clock me in your wisdom keep me a warm thought uh, through the storms of life fill my life with goodness teach me the way of gratitude and prayer so right now right now look there is a lot of abundance that is there for you guys you are going correct you are going uh, on the right track but there are times there are times when we don't feel like that and i feel like right now you are in this phase of life where you're feeling stressed about your future you don't know where you're going you don't know whether you will have the things that you want in your life maybe it's a relationship maybe it's about your career maybe it's about your money it can be about your health it can be about anything right and maybe you're doing a lot of things and now you're dou doubting whether will i reach my goals are not yes you will reach but right now what you need to do is to is to give uh, the gratitude to divine right what all we have what what all you have manifested in your life write that gratitude list so in 2023 what all you manifested write down it eh? write down all the things you manifested and give that gratitude to divine okay and prayer will help really prayer helps Trust me, prayer really, really works. So keep on praying, keep on believing and the right technique to pray. So for example, if you are praying for the health of someone, so we shouldn't see them in hospital bed. How should we, how should we see them while we are praying? We should see them smiling, laughing. They are doing their work. They are active. That's how we should see them while we are praying. So if you are praying for more money, see yourself in abundance. Don't see yourself in lack. Like that if you want to have the success, if you want to uh, uh, pass a test, see yourself passing, uh, see yourself um, showing the results to your parents and they are very happy and they are smiling, they are, uh, they are uh, singing songs because they are very happy for your success. See that while you're praying, see that it will work wonders for you guys. Okay, so the abundance that you want, it's definitely there. Right now you're in a cycle where things are a little bit slow, but this is just a temporary thing. It will change like the seasons right so let's see more here yeah there, this is your worries a lot of worries that's the thing you're asking am i going good am i even on right track what if i'm wasting my time maybe you are doing something that makes you happy maybe this is a passion of yours you're doing 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 but you're not getting anywhere and you're asking spirit will i ever make it will i ever get it is this even for me right am i wasting my time is this am i right on track yes you are but it's like you cannot see it right now because you're so worried right but your legs are free when, whenever i see this eight of swords a person cannot see right because they they have this uh, cloth um, around their eyes so they cannot see their hands are tight but they can walk freely they can choose to walk away from that thing right so again, this thing, this thought, you can choose to walk away from it. So right now, hearing this message is that to walk away from your stress, walk away from this eight of swords energy and understand that you are right now on the right track. But sometimes this is life and we have to go through that ups and downs. So be grateful for all the things that you have in your life. And the more you're grateful, the more goodness will come. And so whenever you're stressing, uh, for the things that you don't have in your life rather change it to the things that you have in your life and be grateful for it okay yeah so group number two this is a message we have oh, for some of you this can be about a relationship yes this can be about a relationship or this can be about a wish of yours as well this is a deep wish of yours here. This is uh, something that you really, really want. Your heart wants this thing. 
and you're so troubled here because you feel like this wish of yours might not come true. This is just your fear. Again, with this a Queen of Cups, this Two of Cups, right? This is something that you deeply wish for. This is your wish. And you're asking spirit whether this wish of mine will come true or not, right? So before this wish comes true, true for you, again, this Two of Cups can be a wish that you deeply wish or this can be a wish to be with someone, to heal a relationship with someone and things are not going good right now and that's why you're worried, right? But worries will not bring anything. So what you can do is to ha cherish the good times in your life, to feel good and the more you feel good, the more you're grateful, things will change, the cycle will change, things will move forward, things will come together, okay? So here uh, with this Queen of Cups, it's time to nurture yourself. It's time to be more compassionate to yourself. I see that sometimes because of your stress, you might be a little bit heavy on you, right? You might not be treating yourself like a precious object. You might be harsh on yourself. You might be strict with yourself. You might be saying something that is not even true. You will be thinking thoughts that is not good. So liberate yourself from these thoughts. And feel grateful for the things you have already. Look at these two energies. From this to this, become that. She is someone who nurtures herself. She is compassionate. She trusts her feelings. She is patient. She is understanding. She trusts her heart and she keeps moving. She prays. She is intuitive. But here, listening to their fears, being feeling trapped, feeling like nothing will work out. These two are two different energies. And here universe is telling you to get into this energy of nourishment, nourishing yourself, taking care of yourself, self-care, making self-care a priority, making gratitude a priority, making prayer a priority. If once you start making these a priority, you will be able to heal this fear, this stress. And once you heal the stress and fear, things will move. This cycle is going to end. Nothing is going to be permanent, right? Happiness in life is also not permanent. We are all here to experience all those kinds of emotions because we, we are here for that, right? So understand that. So again, you're hanging, you're feeling like a hanged man, you're feeling like things are not moving forward and you're so worried about your future. You're making things that is not even true and that's why here universe is telling you to stop doing that, okay? So let's see. How can you nourish yourself? Write five things, five ways you can nourish yourself and start doing it. How you can take care of yourself, write those five things. Maybe you have stopped doing your skincare. Maybe you have stopped doing the things that you like because of this fear. You know, when we are fearful, when we are feeling like nothing is working out, we don't do the things that makes us happy. Maybe right now you're like that. And here universe, you're listening to this message. And here universe is reminding you to start doing something that makes you feel good. Yeah, again, this nourishment is required. Here. Or maybe talking to your mother. If you have, if you have a very good uh, relationship with your mother, maybe talk about your stress to her. Maybe she will give you some advice that will really help you. Okay? So, yeah. Or talk to a person who you uh, feel, um, who, who, who you feel who is very spiritual, maybe. Talking to them will also help. Yeah? With this hermit energy. For some of you, really need to... Uh, uh, detox social media maybe for some of you uh, social media is also one of the reasons why you're feeling more stressed because some of you might be working on your studies and you see social media and you see someone who's preparing for exams they're doing their, their best or maybe you're seeing people winning and it can put you in a place of worries so sometimes social media can neg negatively uh, influence us so only watch content that inspires you motivates you and uh, for, for for a period of time i would uh, recommend you to unfollow the pages that gives you a lot of insecurity a lot of stress okay so with this hermit energy do what it takes to make you feel good okay let's see more We have the page of coins. Oh, for some of you, this is a relationship you're really, really worried about. But there is some good news coming here your way with this page of coins. Again, it can be with your studies as well, with your career as well. Okay, with this page of coins, be dedicated to your path. You are right on track. Keep going, guys. If your students keep going, 
keep going don't take stress of the whole world you're right on track this is just a cycle of stress so listen to uh, listen to certain people who motivate you talk to people who are very mature who can guide you talk to those people right who can help you and maybe talk to your seniors for some of you if you're students and if you're in your first year or maybe talking to your seniors who have uh, uh, who have gone through these examinations will be very helpful maybe they will give you some advice that will really really help you or maybe talk to a friend talk to a friend who will help you talk to people don't keep it to yourself don't uh, don't try to uh, do everything by yourself talk about your emotions communicate that is also something will help you okay yeah why i'm seeing social media maybe for some of you if you have uh, exams in the coming days clearly you got to avoid it okay <laughs> that's something i feel like universe is telling you because it's a big distraction for you right now so let's see wow whatever you worried about guys it's going to end well <laughs> you will be free from the stress in in a matter of days guys so whatever this is stressing you whatever this is as i told it's not permanent don't doubt your path because of it this problem this issues that is making you worried it will be solved and you will be very very happy with this world card you will be free of the stress that's what your universe is telling you so don't make your heart uh, your life harder now because of the stress because this is going to end well okay nothing will go wrong so for example if you want to give your examinations work hard right don't don't make your life hell because of this fear instead work on it because this will end well for you guys right so the final messages here for you guys from the universe that you meant to hear right now the charm okay oh look chanting om mantra will be very very beneficial prayer gratitude i uh, i told about right i i i did i did mention it so listen to om mantra it's a very good vibration so so chant that uh, it's one of the message and don't engage in any kind of gossip any kind of things that worries you uh, again social media as well i i i i mentioned that so this is the time to take care of your feelings and this is the time on uh, uh, on working to dec decrease your st uh, stress and focusing or and increasing on uh, pr prayer Uh, gratitude meditation okay so that's how you will be able to make it happen you will get the good result the outcome is going to be beautiful don't worry and you are right on track so that's what the message from the universe was for you guys uh so hope it made sense hope it gave you some sort of some sort of uh, like uh you know you maybe it did lift a heavy uh heaviness from your heart and take this claim this because things will be okay with this world card i'm sure you will get the freedom from this thing whatever is whatever it is bothering you you will get the freedom so bye bye take care group number 3 so you have chosen this the gas rune so let's see what universe wants you to know at this time okay uh so with this the gas look at the beautiful butterfly so a huge transformation is on its way yes a change is coming a transformation is coming and i even feel like for many of you this is about your transformation you are getting out of this caterpillar stage and you're becoming the beautiful butterfly i see that your hard work is definitely paying off a beautiful beautiful transformation is on the horizon for you guys and that's what i feel like universe is telling you okay right now so let's see more and get more information so let's see what universe wants you to know right now a change is coming something is changing for you guys and you will be loving this change a positive change is on the horizon for you guys yes that's what i'm getting here so let's see group number 3 what is the message from the universe that you're meant to hear right now okay oh you got two cards i'll take that so we have the frog prosperity wow and we have the black bear guardian oh my god there is a guardian angel around you helping you okay so there is a protector that is helping you right and that's beautiful that's beautiful i feel like there is a guardian angel really really helping you right now with this change so for some of you this is a change that you're going through and while you're going through this change you will be 
you will be taken care of you will be protected and you are safe and universe is telling you you are safe you are protected you have been protected your uh, loved ones are protected yes your family is protected everyone is safe and secure okay if uh, yeah if, if this change is uh, happening in your family maybe for some of you this is a family change maybe your family is shifting somewhere uh, yeah, you're moving somewhere you will be safe and protected if you're planning to move somewhere so this is a beautiful transformation this move this move that you're uh, ha doing right for some of you this can be a move that you're making with your family you will be protected while you're traveling and yes this this new place that you're going to this will give you a lot of prosperity a lot of happiness okay so that that was specific so uh yeah your children are safe your children are safe if your children are going somewhere else that can be a change that is happening and yes they will be protected they will be uh, safe and yes they are going to enjoy their life and they will be happy okay so yeah and we have the prosperity card so there is a lot of good energy i i i talked about like being uh, being a positive change i felt like this is a very positive change here for some of you this can this change can be with your career with your money and and this will lead to a lot of prosperity and abundance and that's why you will be able to give it to your family members loved ones you will be able to protect them as well so you will be able to uh, provide to the needs of other people because you will have enough okay so that is also one thing i'm seeing here and interestingly this uh, card you know uh, there is a frog as well <laughs> look at it there is bees and there is frog as well so let go of the past and embrace change yes definitely there is some sort of change coming and you are not alone in this universe is guiding you helping you this is a beautiful change okay I really feel like this is a positive change that is coming. So don't hold on to anything from past. Let go of it. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy, abundance and good fortune await you. So there is a lot of goodness coming. As I told, for some of you, you might be getting a promotion that will not only change your life, but it will change uh, the the life of your loved ones as well because you will be able to provide for them right if you have a family if you are the one who provides this is a very good news right and uh, other people as well you if you are someone who is alone you if you know if you if you if you are not the one who is responsible to give money but you will have enough so you can buy them gifts i see that as well here so with this you will be able to support someone because you will have enough right so gentle and wise protector, give me confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Oh my God, you're guided, you're protected. Your intuition is very, very strong. This guardian angel is always protecting you, helping you, uh, helping you with your worries, right? They will, you know, whenever you get worried or stressed, I feel like they will show you signs that it's okay, it's safe, right? And maybe for some of you, this sign can be with uh, in the form of frogs or bees, these two are your signs. I feel like that. Maybe whenever you're stressed, you see a lot of frogs or you see a lot of bees. It's a way of your uh, of your guardian angel telling you that everything is good. Everything is okay. Don't worry. Things will get better. Uh, yeah. But definitely there is this prosperous prosperity coming your way. Group number three. Expect good things. Okay. So let's see. Positive change is coming. A lot of goodness. For some of you, if it's not money, it's about family, happiness, success, uh, good relationships. Uh, it's, it feels like togetherness. Okay. People are together. Like the frogs are together. The bear is together. It feels like, like the two birds are together. So, yeah. This change is bringing people together. So, uh, let's see what universe wants you to, wants you to know right now. Group number three. We have six of swords. Again, move, movement, moving to a different place. There is definitely movement, progress here. Uh, again, you are uh, going towards karma waters. So that's the positive change. So if you are feeling a little bit conflicted, if things have not been that great, if there has been discord in your family, that's changing. Things are getting better. You're moving towards karma water. Maybe you're someone who really, really cares for your family. Maybe you are not the one who is affected with this storm, right? Maybe there has been a little bit of uh, discord happening in your family. Maybe you are not... Uh, you might not be a part of it, but at the same time, you are hearing all those news and it's affecting you, right? So if, it, if it's affecting you here, uh, for, for those people, uh, the message is things are going to 
be smoother right things are going to be okay maybe your sisters or brothers have a little bit of struggle in their life maybe your parents have a little bit of struggle so that's why you're worried uh, don't worry because things are going to be okay things are moving towards karma waters okay so if there has been any discord for other people as i told there is a positive change there is movement you're traveling your travel will be safe and this new place will give you a lot of prosperity a lot of good people as well that's the amazing part a lot of good people people who are kind generous you're going to meet very good people and if you have a kid don't worry that your kid will be alone because you will be fine uh, meeting good people who, who will have kids so your kid can play with them <laughs> that is also something i'm seeing here maybe some of you are worried about that so maybe you're moving to a different country and you don't know if you're you know what if my kid is alone <laughs> what if he doesn't have friends he will he will he or she will definitely don't worry so let's see what else oh look interestingly we have the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles some of you are worried about your money but don't worry everything is safe and secure here two of pentacles yes you are someone who try to try to handle everything now you're you're multitaskers it feels like maybe you are someone who is away from your family but at the same time you are the one who keeps your family together you are the one who give them guidance who are the one you support maybe you are someone who even gives money to their family right so so sometimes even though you have money there is a little bit of a fear in you whether there will be enough to enough for uh, uh, everyone whether i'll be able to give them uh, good things whether i will be able to buy them uh, good uh, good uh, gifts and all yes yes nothing you don't have to worry about anything like that with this five of pentacles it's your thinking that you need to change you will be provided your needs will be provided whatever you will need it will be provided guys and we have the wheel of fortune as the back of the deck right so yes i'll, I'll just keep this card here like this i don't know i feel like it so maybe you can see that as well so yes you uh, there is money coming there is prosperity with money as well you will have enough to save to give i feel like that if there has been some concerns regarding your finances that's going to change there is more money coming here and that's also the change here and you will be able you will be able to give uh to uh, to your family members, uh, to the people in need. Yes, you will have enough so you can give to other people. Maybe that's your concern here. Some of you feel like you will not have enough. Uh, if, if there will be enough for everyone, yes, there is going to be enough and you will be able to protect them, right? So don't worry. So don't worry and don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, and uh, yeah, and interestingly, look, we have this Othala rune and it's the rune of home. It's the rune of uh, uh, family, right? Ancestors, heritage. And it's, it's the rune of good prosperity, right? So yes, uh, don't worry about money. Don't worry about money. For some of you, well, a little bit specific if you're uh, worried about your, uh, you know, yes, I feel like for some of you, this is for some of you, you uh, if you're not uh, someone who has a lot to give to other people, if you're, if you're not caring for other people, I feel like through your family, uh you might receive some money so your money problems are going to end that's going to change okay that's why this karma waters okay and for some of you if you didn't have enough money for travel you will be getting that money also for travel okay and if you're doing two jobs and all yes i feel like you will be able to balance as well and you will be able to save enough money and because of it you can be a you will be able to quit something that you don't like and do something that you like okay so that is also there <laughs> So let's see more. Your I have to say your family is protected, your finances are protected, the resources that you need it will it will come to you at the correct time. So don't worry about your future too much. Too much. Don't uh, don't feel like you have to save tons of money. No, because whatever you want will be given to you guys. I feel like that's the strong uh, uh, message that universe wants you to hear right now. Okay, group number three. And then let's see. Um, 
Wow, we have the four of wands. Again, it feels like there has been a little bit troubles in your family. It can be not in, uh, you know, directly. It, it might be not you, but your siblings or your, uh, or your friends or your uh, parents. But that is ending here. That, that problems are ending. They are going towards a calmer water because I feel like you're someone who really, really worries for other people. And if it's in your marriage, the, those issues, it's definitely going to end. For some of you, I even see like you will be married and you will be moving moving to other place or other country and that's why you're worried about your family don't worry they will be safe and secure right yes this new place that you're moving as i told uh, for some of you you're moving right with your kids or with your spouse it will bring a lot of prosperity guys this place will give you a lot of prosperity new place Yes, 10 of wands in the moon. Again, when we make a big change, big move, it always gives us a lot of tension, right? A lot of fear. Uh, so if, if you're making this big move as you're getting married and moving with your partner, right? Going to a different country. It's a big move that you're making. Maybe you're leaving your family behind. So sometimes it's stressful. It's stressful, right? I understand that. Uh, it's a lot of heavy emotions, but don't worry. Things will be okay here. You are protected. You are safe. So don't drain yourself. Don't drain your energy because of this overstress or, or, yeah, that you're carrying. I, I even feel like you take the baggage of other people as well. Uh, so it's not yours to carry. Some of the baggages are not yours to carry, guys. You cannot do it. You cannot stress for everyone. You cannot think for everyone. You cannot live everyone's life. So be be more gentle with yourself uh, in that, okay? Sometimes you drain yourself because of it, because of your worries. And I feel like universe is reminding you, you cannot control everyone's life. All you can do is to control your own thoughts, uh, how the, how the way, how you, way you think, or maybe you can pray for them. If you can help them, you can do that. That's it rest it's up to them so don't drain yourself because of the thoughts of other people yes you love them you care for them but by draining yourself you're doing no good to them or to you that's what i feel like universe you know, wants wants to remind you today and your intuition is also going to be very very strong uh yes so one thing is like uh, if your life is going smooth, don't take the worries of other people and make your life harder here right now. Okay, so that's also something I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's see the final message for group number three. Yes, uh, go slow, take time. We have this fogged in, right? Yes, you have been feeling like that's the thing. You're going to this karma waters, right? Things have been a little tough for you guys. Um, maybe maybe for some of you, this is yours energy, right? Money-wise, you might have been feeling. Or maybe with this uh, tr uh, change, you might have been feeling a little bit heavy. But go slow. Take your time. Uh, love yourself. Be more gentle with yourself. Take uh, take a few breaks. Don't drain yourself. Don't take the stress of other people. Uh, and whenever you, you are feeling stressed, understand that... Uh, it's just uh, something you're making it in your head so release that yeah sometimes when we travel we move to a different country because there is this movement i see with these two ships so maybe some of you worried about leaving a place leaving your home and moving to a new home that is far away so take your time yes it's okay to feel like that it's okay to feel fearful it's okay but here you uh, i feel like universe is telling you to go slow don't think too many things don't drain your energy trust your intuition trust your guard um right uh trust yourself and in, and i feel like many of you know that this change that you're making it will be good for you you know it you feel it inside of you so trust that give yourself some space give yourself uh, uh, some gentleness some compassion right now you're a little bit hard on yourself because of the stresses you're doing maybe this change that you're making maybe many people in your family are not so happy with it and that's also bothering you but sometimes do what's best for you and it's okay if you're making this change because this is a good change this will lead to a lot of prosperity and success in your life okay so go slow take your time right now if you need a break take that break right now yes i feel like right now you feel a little heavy but you will be soon moving to calmer waters here and if it's not about you as i told if it's in if it's about your family members don't worry they will be okay as yeah they will be okay so don't drain yourself in that uh, by thinking for them okay you cannot change anything only you can do is to guide them if you can give some information if you can help them do that other than other than you cannot do anything understand that so let's see the final messages with the help of the charms 
so for group number three oh wow we have the number eight maybe you're seeing eight 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 oh there is definitely abundance prosperity maybe you are an eight eight yeah your number is an eight maybe eight uh, is important for you guys and if you look at the eight it's like the infinity there is infinite possibilities right there is so much of so much of happiness success i see that's coming money wise there is definitely good news here with this eight uh should i take one more charm for you guys i will take one more uh yeah final messages okay wow look we have the dolphin yes and we have this uh, lotus as well so focus on your spirituality guys focus on your happiness because the positivity right now is very important you know if if again if your family members ha are going through a tough time you becoming negative will not help them at all but you focusing on your spirituality love praying for them giving them positive vibes will really help them okay and again if you're making a move this move is going to be very prosperous with this dolphin i'm getting that and uh, you're going to meet very good people people who are very generous so if you're making a change don't worry yes uh, so that's all I have for group number three. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.